Hello everyone and a warm welcome. This lecture is about culture media. Culture media is an important topic of introductory microbiology. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe the channel and press the bell notification. The subscribers will get the simple notes of this topic in the form of PDF file. For this, they have to join the WhatsApp group. The link for joining the WhatsApp group is given in the description box below. So stay tuned and watch this lecture till end. In this lecture, you will get to learn what is culture, what is a pure culture, what is culture medium, what are different types of culture medium, what is the composition of nutrient broth and nutrient agar. First of all, what is culture? To culture is to grow microorganisms. Specifically, we will be dealing with the culture of bacteria in this lecture. A population of bacteria grown in laboratory is referred to as a culture. What is pure culture? A pure culture contains only one single type of bacteria, while the mixed culture contains two or more different bacteria. Why there is a requirement to culture bacteria? We have to culture bacteria because we want to grow bacteria to maintain bacterial culture and to obtain the bacteria in pure culture form. What is culture media? In the simple language, culture media is food for bacteria. Culture media can be defined as a balanced mixture of nutrients required by bacteria so as to achieve its optimum growth. The basic requirements of culture medium. A culture medium should provide a source of energy. It should also give a source of carbon. It should provide a source of nitrogen. It should give important salts such as sulfate, nitrate, chloride, carbonate, sodium and potassium. It should be of a satisfactory pH. It should have adequate oxidation reduction potential. It should also be a good source of growth factors. There are different types of culture medium. These are classified on the basis of physical, chemical and the special purpose criteria. In the physical, the culture medium can be liquid, semi-solid and solid. On the basis of chemical characteristic, these can be classified as synthetic and non-synthetic. The special purpose culture medium are basal, enriched, selective, differential, anaerobic, transport and antibiotic sensitive. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the liquid, semi-liquid, solid culture medium, synthetic, non-synthetic and in the special purpose, we will learn all the special purpose except the anaerobic and antibiotic sensitive. These will be covered in the next coming lectures. Types of culture media on the basis of consistency. These can be solid. The solid, they contain a solidifying agent. They are prepared as slant, deep tube or the plate. Next is semi-solid. They have a jelly like consistency while the solid they have a firm consistency semi solid contain the solidifying agent at a lower concentration they are used to study the motility of bacteria the liquid they don't contain any solidifying agent 
and these are called broth. Types of culture medium on the basis of chemical composition. Non-synthetic, they have the complex ingredients such as yeast extract or the casein hydrolysate. They consist of a mixture of components and these components they are in the unknown proportions. Example is luria broth. The synthetic medium they have all the chemical ingredients which are known and they are known in a fixed composition. The example is the M9 minimal medium. The third criteria are the purpose on the basis of which culture medium they are classified. So they are called special purpose culture medium. They are basal medium, enrichment medium, enriched medium, differential indicator medium and selective medium. First of all, we will study about the basal medium which is the most commonly nutrient agar. The components are yeast extract. Yeast extract is obtained as an aqueous extract of brewer's yeast. It is a source of amino acid, nucleotides, growth factors and minerals which are required for the bacterial growth. It is an excellent source of vitamins specifically the B group vitamins like vitamin B12, vitamin B2, nicotinic acid, pyridoxine which is also called vitamin B6 and pentothenic acid. The second component is meat or the beef extract. It is taken as the aqueous extract of the beef or the animal meat. It is the source of amino acids, peptides, nucleotides, organic acids, vitamins and minerals. It serves as a source of nitrogen and carbon. Most of the vitamins except thymine are present in the meat extract. The third component is pactone. Pactones they are prepared by the partial proteolytic digestion of meat, casein, soya meal, gelatin and other protein sources. The hydrolysis is usually brought about the proteolytic enzymes like trypsin, pepsin, papain. It serves as a source of carbon, nitrogen and energy. It also gives the phosphorus and sulfur. Next component is sodium chloride. It is added into the medium so as to maintain the osmotic balance of the cell. It provides an isotonic environment. Water is essential for any of the living cells. Distilled water is used usually because it has fixed composition and it is free from any kind of purity. The next component is the agar powder. It is the solidifying agent. First of all, the use of agar powder was suggested by Fanny Hesse, wife of Walter Hesse, who was one of the Koch assistant. Agar powder is a gel. It is prepared in the form of a gel and this agar is extracted from species of the red algae like gelatium and gracilaria. It is a polymer. The monomers are D-galactose, L-galactose and d glucuronic acid. In addition to the agar, other solidifying agents can also be used like gelatin. Gelatin is a protein substance which is prepared from the bones of animals from which fats and minerals like phosphates have been removed. It is soluble in the water at temperature above 40 degrees Celsius and it forms a gel below 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. But it is not nowadays used as a solidifying agent since its melting point is very low. 40 to 42 degrees Celsius, so it cannot be incubated at the higher temperatures. It is liquefied even at the room temperature in the summer months. Being a protein, it is also hydrolyzed by certain bacteria. They can liquefy it, 
Hence, it is not appropriate to use gelatin as a solidifying agent. Silica gel can also be used. It is a gel of sodium silicate. It is a preferable solidifying agent when the media is used for isolation of autotrophic bacteria which are cultivated in the absence of organic substances. For isolation of chemolithotrophs which are inhibited by agar agar powder. Also for the isolation of marine bacteria which digest the agar agar powder. The composition of the basal medium nutrient broth and nutrient agar. Nutrient broth contains pactone, anisian, yeast extract, beef or the meat extract, water and the pH is 7.4. These components are in the amount gram per liter, pactone 5 gram, anisial 5 gram, yeast extract 1.5 gram, beef or the meat extract 1.5 gram. Sometimes out of this yeast extract and the meat and the beef extract only the meat extract or the yeast extract is also used. The pH is maintained to be 7.4. The nutrient agar contains all of these components. The additionally agar is added usually at the concentration of 1.5 gram per liter. It can be up to 2% also. Different types of culture media which are the special type used for a special purpose. The enrichment medium, they allow growth of particular group of bacteria by inhibiting the others. For example, tetrathyrid broth is used for the enrichment of salmonella from the fecal samples and the food samples. The second special purpose medium is enriched medium. These are used for the growth of fastidious bacteria while the basal medium they are used for the growth of non-fastidious bacteria. Fastidious bacteria are those bacteria which have some specific or the special growth requirement. For example, the blood agar and chocolate agar. The third type of the special purpose medium are the differential also known as the indicator medium. They are used for differentiation between two groups of bacteria. For example, blood agar. It is used for the differentiation of streptococcus. They can be differentiated as the hemolytic or non-hemolytic. Another example is the McConkie agar, on the basis of which the bacteria can be classified as the lactose fermenters and lactose non-fermenters. Next type is the selective medium. For example, mannitol salt agar, it is selective for the Staphylococcus aureus. Cetrimide agar for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. On this selective medium, only the specific organisms, they can be grown. Next is transport medium. They are used for the maintenance of the delicate pathogens present in the clinical sample. They maintain the viability of the pathogens. For example, Stuart medium is used for the transport of gonococci, caribou medium for enterobacteriaceae. So that is all about the culture medium. Thanks for your patient hearing and watching. In the i button, you will find the link of a quiz which is specifically designed for the culture medium. Thanks again. Best wishes. Bye and take care.